Hello everyone, welcome back. We have always seen QR code as boarding black and white square box. But in today's video, I'll explain you the process of creating designer QR code by using stable diffusion. We will also use ChatGPT for prompt generation. I will share the entire details and the prompt, so stick till the end. Let's get started. There are two ways we can uh, generate this QR code. Uh, one is hugging space where you know uh, it is already available. Anybody can use it. I don't want to use this because uh, the wait time is really high. A lot of people are using this. Okay. So instead of using this, we will be running this in our collab. So collab notebook is already there. All you need to do is uh, you just have to go there, uh, go to run and click on run all. Once you click on run all, uh, it will start running the uh, code cell one by one and it takes around five minutes to uh, start the gradio ui where we can uh, generate the uh, qr code the main reason of using uh, collab is uh, here uh, the response time is really fast we can generate any qr code within 30 seconds whereas uh, in hugging space uh, it takes around five to six minutes to generate one qr code i will share the details of uh, collab notebook as well as uh, hugging space you can try any one of them once the system is up and running, you'll find two URLs over here, a local URL as well as public URL. You can click on this and open it in new tab. Once you open it here, uh, you'll find that, you know, it looks exactly as hugging space. And here we can provide our details and generate QR code. So let's go ahead and create some QR code. So here you will provide your uh, content uh, or URL. So I'm giving the URL for my YouTube channel and uh, we have optional image here. Uh, from which it can take some reference and generate and then we can provide prompt over here then you have a negative prompt by default we have uh, some details over here so that's fine and uh, there are some basic uh, settings over here apart from that we have some sampling method uh, which we can use and then you'll find a few basic details of uh, sample prompt uh, what you can use to generate your uh, qr code so we have a prompt section right so the one which we'll be using to generate our uh, qr code so I've created a prompt for uh, this, uh, which you can use it in uh, GPT-4 model or GPT-3.5. And you can see that, you know, you are a designer QR code uh, prompt generator and there are sample I have given. And then you have like uh, when user ask, you will uh, generate three random QR code. And based on that, it will provide. So consider that uh, I've just given a keyword landscape here and it has created uh, three uh, prompts for me, right? So let's take uh, one of this. So we'll go ahead here and give this prompt and we will keep the negative prompt as it is. Go there and click on run. You will see that it has started to run and wait time is somewhere around 21.4 seconds. So let's wait for a few more seconds and it will be ready. So you can see here uh, the QR code is uh, generated and it's ready to use. So you might think that, you know, if this QR code is actually working or not. So let's wait for a few more seconds. I'll, I'll show you by scanning this QR code that it works really fine. Okay. The next one which I wanted to create was uh, of theme castle. So I've given castle as the keyword and it has created three prompt for me. So let's take the first one and try this one. I've copied this one here and my QR content code is same. Prompt is over here. So let's go ahead and click on run. So we have our QR code ready here. So you can have a look here. So it has created a castle and then we have a QR code structure engraved on that. So it looks really great. Uh, let's save this one uh, for our future reference where I'll be showing you if it works or not. So this is the QR code which we have created. So let's scan it through mobile and see if it works or not. So on the screen, you can see my mobile, which I'm trying to scan it through desktop. You can see here it has scanned properly. And you can find that the web address is also a YouTube channel. Let's click on this and open. And it is taking me to my YouTube channel. So it works perfectly fine. So here we are trying to scan the another QR code which we have created. So you can see here it is also able to scan properly. Uh, over the screen we can see that you know web address is given what we have provided. And we can click on this open in browser and it will take us to this particular YouTube page. So this is how you can uh, generate uh, designer qr code and if you like this video hit the like and subscribe button share with your friends and i'll see you in the next video thank you